Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mailbag Day! That's right, as you can see, I've got a ton of packages here, all ready to be opened. But first, like uh, I've been talking about with my Mailbag Days, I am going to start doing stuff other than comic books. That's where this box comes into play. This nice big one right here. Let's put some of the comic books over to the side and let's get to opening this one. And this is a nice big box from Walmart. This is actually something that I ordered, oh, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago from Walmart. So let's get to opening this. We got a nice big box. Woo! Look at that. Man. Heavy duty packing paper. Actually save that and reuse it. All right, you guys wanna see what's in the box? I gotta tell you, it's pretty awesome. Woo -hoo. And, pachow, a Cobra Hiss. This is one of the uh, G.I. Joe retro things that they've been doing lately. I think this was like 25 bucks and I'm a member of Walmart Plus, so I got it for uh, free shipping and they stuck a sticker to it. Oh, isn't that love? Oh God, I hate Walmart sometimes. No, um, hey, it came right off. That was shocking. I don't know what kind of sticker they used, but hey, I'm happy for that. So, yes, uh, Hasbro has been re-releasing a bunch of G.I. Joe figures and vehicles and all kinds of good stuff, and I've been buying them when I can because they are just awesome, and man, I just love reliving my childhood. This probably will not get opened. I'm just going to end up sticking it on a shelf for display because... Cobra Hiss. Man, Cobra had the coolest vehicles. I would love to collect all of the Cobra vehicles. I need to get a Rattler. That was the, the awesome right there. Okay, now let's get to the comic books. First up, you know, we always start our comic book segment with a package of shame. I'm actually going to lift my camera here a little bit. Now, the funny thing about this package of shame is that it's not a package of shame because of the sender. It's a package of shame because of the way the post office treated it. I can't believe they would do this. Now, this box here, you can tell by the package, this came from my comic shop uh, down in Texas. But look at this box. I don't know if you can... Look at that crease. What did they do to this thing? I mean, I, you look at this side. God. I that and it's you can bend it right there. I, I now I'm really happy my comic book shop usually packages everything really well and they have a lot of space. So I'm not too worried about the comic book in here. But I just can't believe what the post office has been doing to packages lately. It is just insane. And they are actually not even really the worst. I uh I had a UPS guy pull up into my neighborhood the other day. And uh I had a package I was expecting that day from UPS. And he gets into the truck and he starts driving off. And I'm like, I go, I'm outside and I'm like, what, no package for me? He's like, yeah, probably. He goes, but my truck is packed. I can't get to anything. I'm just getting rid of the big stuff first. He came back like eight hours later, finally with my package. I could not believe that. Alrighty. Come on. They always pack this stuff really well. I never have any issues buying anything from my comic shop because they are awesome. All right, actually, I'm gonna move my camera forward a little bit now too. I only had it pulled back because of the, the G.I. Joe Cobra tank. All right, so this is burr, 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 Battle Beast. That is right, this is the number one issue of Battle Beast. This is a book that has been picking up steam lately, so I've been trying to grab them when I can because they're still fairly inexpensive, but they're starting to come up. Uh, a lot of these 80s and 90s comic books are really, really finally starting to come into their own. It's really shocking. Uh, you know, books that were just a few bucks, you know, a couple years ago are now, you know, in the you know, hundreds of dollar range, which is just absolutely insane. But, you know, that's the way of the market. And, uh, man, Battle Beast was so cool. All right, what else do we got? Next box. Bumper. 
this came in a Gemini mailer. No package of shame here. Shame is me trying to get it open and can't. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I know a lot of people use these priority mail kind of fabric bags because they hold comic books really well. Uh, I know a lot of retailers out there will pack just a bunch of books in these things. Come on, we can do this. I'm being very careful not to slice the comic book. And we know where the comic book is at in there. Feels really thick. There might be a couple in here. Yeah, and actually it looks like there is. Alright. Let's see. Move that. What are you? You are? Hey, Rune versus Venom. Oh, <laughs> I got three copies of it there. Wow. Uh, I bought this a long time ago. I had completely forgotten I had this. I'm a huge fan of Rune. Uh, he was a great character back in Malibu Comics. And this was the first time, if I'm not mistaken, that they gave Venom wings, uh, which you know became a big deal in the whole Donny Cage storylines of recent. So this book started spiking, and uh, I don't know, I found these, I think, for like three bucks a piece or something, so I just bought all three of them. Um, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, just three. <laughs> okay, what else do we got here? This person knows how to pack a book, because it's really light, which means there's only one book in here. I would think. And I cut everything with the razor blade. All right, yes, bubble wrap. Oh, and to anybody that's actually watching this right now, uh, today is March, or I'm sorry, uh, Monday, April 19th. 2021. I'm giving that date because uh, stick around till the end of the episode. I got a big announcement coming, but it's only pertinent for today and tomorrow. <laughs> so anybody that watches this after uh, April 20th, 2021, I am sorry it is no longer relevant. Okay, what we got here? I see a, an invoice. Bubble wrap! It's a crazy bubble wrap. It's really sticking to itself. Okay. Put that right there. And you are... Oh, falling over. Ho oh, ho ho! Hello! <laughs> This is Battle Chasers number one, the anotheruniverse.com exclusive cover. Now, uh, this is the Joe Medora Creator Own series that came out back in the 90s. And this was a retailer variant. Uh, before I even think retailer variants were a thing. So this cover is very hard to get. I know I've actually shown a few Battle Chasers comics before and I've mentioned this book. Uh, Wow, yeah, I, this is actually, I got this for a killer deal. It usually runs for about a hundred bucks. So uh, Joe Medora is going to be uh, bringing Battle Chasers back out and creating a new series. So I'm starting to pick up some of the older issues, especially stuff like this, uh, which is very, very hard to get. And yeah, that is a great cover. <laughs> So keep an eye out for it if you guys see it. Like I said, uh, anything under 100 bucks and you can get yourself a pretty good deal. All right, next up. Wow, this is actually in a top loader. I can feel it. What are you? Oh, hey, look at that. This is that Shannon Mayer uh, X-23 cover. And I got the 
first and second print of this because I just think it's an absolutely beautiful cover. And I'm a huge X-23 fan. I forget which retailer exclusive this was. I don't know if it was Scorpion or Unknown. Uh, but yeah, it's just beautiful. It was pretty pricey when it first hit the scene and you know for a few months afterward, but it's finally starting to come down to a reasonable range, so I grabbed it. Oh, I thought maybe it would show the back. Anyway, I just think it's a gorgeous cover. I love the color on that. And then the black and white, I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so I found a seller that was selling both at the same time, so I grabbed them. These will be heading into Gator Guards. Right. See, I love this. People pack books correctly. Alrighty. Let's cut into this thing and see what we got. Oh, yeah, we packed this. Did a great job. We got cardboard. We got bubble wrap. Good stuff all the way around. books in here as well. Oh, look at that. I already ruined it for myself because I opened it early, but I'm not going to ruin it for you guys. Come on, we can do this. We have the technology. And yes, there should be two in here. Come on. All right, let's put those right there. And now, Pachow! Creed number one, the Hall of Heroes edition. Uh, wow, this is an absolutely great book. And this is also one of those books that has just been absolutely insane as of late. Uh, Trent Canuga, he came out with this book in 1994. He was 17 years old. This kid was living the dream. He put out this Hall of Heroes version of the book. I believe there was only about 2,000 copies printed. Uh, it was then picked up by Avatar Press and continued on from there. And he, after that, he, I think he went working into video games and actually got a job working at Blizzard doing like design work for World of Warcraft and stuff like that. But now... He's bringing Creed back, so we're very excited. And because of that, this book is starting to spike. Uh, I think myself alone, I have five or six copies of this book. I'll have to actually dig them all out. And since today's Monday, I'll post a picture on Instagram. Multiple Comic Monday. Anyway, great book to find if you can get a hold of it. All right, this guy here I thought might have been a package of shame because it came in one of these flimsy cardboard mailers. But it's actually really, really nice. So, there we go. Looks like they packed it well with some cardboard. We got pull tabs on our tape. A lot of the tape is stuck to the book. Oh, come right off. Nice. And what do we got here? This is the Edge of Spider Verse, issue number four. Now, I bought this strictly for story. Uh, I've actually heard this actually is rather disturbing to read. So I was like, I'll have me a bit of that. <laughs> and I picked it up. Uh, I really want to read this. It's supposed to be a little on the dark side and a lot of fun. So I like stories like that. Beautiful. Next up, two more boxes. Another one from my comic shop. I buy a lot from these guys because they know how to sell. They know how to grade. They know how to ship. I have never had a single bad experience with my comic shop, and I don't even know how many books I have bought from them over the last, oh, I don't even know. I think I started purchasing from them five or six years ago, and I've bought a lot from them. Woo, loud noise. Sorry for that. 
<laughs> Sorry, I got, I got a glimpse of what this book is. Oh, I am sensing a theme for today's video. All right. Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is the Gold Digger Swimsuit Annual. Uh, now, I really, I bought this because Gold Digger is another one of those books that is really going crazy lately. Uh, I mean, who the first issue of Gold Digger, just uh, a month ago, maybe two months ago, I was paying, I don't know, 10 bucks for it. And uh, now it's, I think I spotted one on eBay for 110. It is going absolutely insane. And for obvious reasons, this issue of Gold Digger is very sought after. <laughs> So I actually ended up grabbing one. Uh, this is going to pop into my PC. And uh, yeah, good stuff. And last, but certainly not least, I don't know what we got here. What are you? This one's actually rather heavy as well. All right, and this is from Imagine That Comics, where a small family-owned business and your satisfaction is our number one priority. Each purchase comes with a 100% money-back guarantee. That's awesome. I love that. All right, so here we go. Let's see, what are you guys? Hey, Baby Teeth, number one, the Halloween Comic Fest exclusive covers. If I'm not mistaken, these are Torque covers as well. Uh... Yeah, Baby Teeth is one of those awesome things that's actually starting to pick up. Uh, the series is finally starting to come back out. It's very excited. If I'm not mistaken, it has been optioned as well. I have about 50 copies of Baby Teeth spread around all over the place. Lenticulars, regular covers, variant covers, Halloween Comic Fest covers. I love the series and I always saw big things for it when I started reading it. So very very excited this is cool this is actually one of the harder covers to get so i'm you know really happy to have it all right guys so that was it for my mailbag day we have three issues uh baby teeth number one we have the gold digger swimsuit annual edge of spider verse number four looking forward to reading that we have a couple of creed number one hall of hero editions wow these are beautiful this one here's got a minor spine tick this one does not these books are so hard to get in perfect condition i think i'm going to cgc that bad boy all right and then we have some of these awesome shannon mayer x23 covers we have ooh, a cliffhanger number one right there <laughs> variant cover rune versus venom three copies of that and a battle beast number one so Oh, and we cannot forget our hiss tank. That is right. We got to throw a little Cobra love in there. Cobra. Cobra's awesome. All right, guys. So like always, thank you for watching. And uh, the big news for, uh, to actually, it's going to be for tomorrow is April 20th, 2021, is I will be going live with the Mystery Men tomorrow on Comic Foo's channel. If you guys are interested, I will be in front of the camera. So yes, be sure to join us over there at Comic Foo's channel. I will link him in the description below. All right, I am really sorry for that rough cut, but at the end of that last scene, my my camera just completely died. It was... It, <laughs> so anyway, like I was saying uh, to my current subscribers, thank you for watching. If you're not a subscriber, hit the little CV right there. That way you get notifications of all my cool stuff. For my channel members, you will see your name scrolling right here with a huge thank you. And like always, guys, thank you for watching and take it easy.